Imagine a world where scientists can accurately predict the weather, map the human brain, and unlock the secrets of quantum computing. Welcome to the era of exascale supercomputing, where Europe's first exascale supercomputer, Jupiter, is revolutionizing the field. Unveiled at the Julich Supercomputing Center in Germany, Jupiter is not just a powerful machine, it's a game-changer for climate research, neuroscience, and quantum simulation. But here's where it gets exciting. Jupiter is powered by the NVIDIA Grace Hopper platform, which enables breakthrough research in these fields and more. With its liquid-cooled architecture, Jupiter can run one quintillion FP64 operations per second, offering up to 90 exaflops of AI performance. That's more than double the speed of the next fastest system in Europe. As Thomas Lippert, director of the Julik Supercomputing Center, puts it, Jupiter marks the culmination of more than a decade of research and development, representing a unique innovation that opens up completely new possibilities for science and industry in Europe. But what does this mean for the average person? For starters, Jupiter is helping scientists like Thorsten Hatter at the Julik Supercomputing Center simulate the behavior of individual neurons on the subcellular level which could lead to breakthroughs in therapies for neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. And with its ability to handle qubits, the basic units of information in quantum computing, Jupiter is poised to break the world record for a supercomputer's ability to handle qubits. But here's the controversy. Some experts argue that the development of exascale supercomputers like Jupiter will exacerbate the existing gap between countries that have access to these technologies and those that don't. Others argue that the benefits of exascale supercomputing, such as improved weather forecasting and medical research, outweigh the potential drawbacks. As Jensen Huang, founder and CEO of NVIDIA, notes, Jupiter fuses high-performance computing and AI into a single architecture, accelerating breakthroughs across every domain, from modeling climate and renewable energy to advancing quantum research, designing new materials, and building digital twins. But what do you think? Should the development of exascale supercomputers like Jupiter be a priority? Or are there more pressing issues that need to be addressed? The inauguration ceremony of Jupiter was attended by a slew of Europe's AI and industry leaders, politicians, researchers, and others, including Germany Chancellor Friedrich Merz, who highlighted the supercomputer's potential to drive national advancement and industrial innovation. As the world's most advanced and versatile exascale system, Jupiter is expected to have a significant impact on various fields, including climate science, neuroscience, and quantum simulation. For example, the Max Planck Institute for Meteorology is using Jupiter to simulate climate predictions with a spatial resolution of about one kilometer, depicting extreme weather events like violent thunderstorms and heavy rainfall much more realistically than before. The Julik Supercomputing Center and a German consortium of nine European partners for research, industry, and the media are also tapping Jupiter for Trust LLM, a project that's training the next generation of large language models for various European languages. Such models can ease workflows across virtually every industry by generating human-like responses and improving productivity. And this is the part most people miss. Jupiter is not just a supercomputer. It's a platform for next-generation scientific computing that will accelerate breakthroughs across every domain. With its ability to handle massive amounts of data and perform complex simulations, Jupiter is empowering European researchers to tackle some of the world's most pressing challenges. So, what's next for Jupiter? As the supercomputer continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, we can expect to see significant advancements in fields like climate science, neuroscience, and quantum simulation. But we want to hear from you. What do you think are the most exciting potential applications of exascale supercomputing? And how do you think Jupiter will change the game?